Hello there, it's Sandip, and in this very short video, I'm going to show you three common mistakes in the Bowden Gizaritsky gambit played in the bishop's opening. And so, strictly speaking, this opening for white gives black an advantage according to Stockfish. It's about minus 0.5, minus 1 on the engine. However, you could argue outside of slow time controls, outside of elite level, uh, what does this really matter? And so, uh, it's a great weapon to use in online chess, and the Lee Chess database shows that white is doing uh, really well, mainly because uh, a lot of the moves that black needs to make are counterintuitive. And so, let's get to it. Uh, what is the Bowden Gizaritsky gambit? It goes e4, e5, bishop c4. This is the bishop's opening played at the top level, and now the game could go knight c6 or knight f6. Uh, we require knight f6 played at the top level. And this gambit starts to develop when we play this move knight f3, where we are effectively hanging the e4 pawn. Uh, most of the time, black is going to take, so we have knight takes e5, sorry, knight takes e4, and the gambit begins when we play this move knight c3. Um, and so you've got that reverse Stafford feel. However, uh, in the Stafford gambit, uh, white actually has a, an advantage of a plus 2. Here, black's advantage is more slight. It's about minus one, a little bit less than that. So the right thing for black to do is to take this knight. So we have knight takes c6 and now d takes c6. And here, what I find interesting in the lead chess database, which you can look, see here on the bottom right of your screen, um, is that many of the moves turn out to be mistakes. And so what white or what black has to prevent is this knight jump to g5. And so you can see here, uh, the most popular move in the Lee Chess database. I have left everything on in the filters. However, I've kept the data to the last one year uh, to make sure we're looking at recent trends. And so we can see here the most popular move in the Lee Chess database is d6. And d6 is a huge blunder because after knight g5, how is white going to protect this f7 pawn? Uh, you could say black could play bishop e6, but after bishop takes e6, f takes e6, queen f3 wins the game because there is a threat of mate here on f7 and this pawn is hanging here uh, on b7 and so how do you protect both you can't really so you can see here people in the database are trying things like uh, queen queen d7 with a view of playing uh, queen c6 but that doesn't work i'll show you why because after queen takes b7 they play this move queen c6 however now there's just a simple mate in two we have queen c8 check, king e7, and of course, queen e6 check mate. And so a completely winning position here for white uh, if black decides to play this move d6. It's a similar story uh, if black plays this move knight c6. This is also a blunder because it facilitates the jump to g5. And here uh, the situation is bad. The bishop can't even come out, so many players are going to... Uh, play d5 give away pawn we have bishop takes d5 and now bishop e6 and the key thing here is to take with the knight uh, if you take with the bishop then you're leaving yourself open for a queen trade uh, we don't want that right now so we have knight takes e6 and now the queen is hanging you pretty much have to take f takes e6 queen h5 check and here this is not a blunder after g6 because although there is a double attack White can play the move bishop takes c6 check and after b takes c6, queen takes e5, uh, we just up a pawn. Black has this horrible pawn structure and white is in a completely winning position. So uh, completely winning after knight c6. Uh, another way in which black can go wrong uh, is if um, black goes down the correct path. So the correct move here is f6. And this is what I really like about this gambit. So as a rule of thumb, we're taught not really to play moves like f6. You obviously hear people like Benjamin Feingold, um, excuse me, Grandmaster Benjamin Feingold say things like never play f6. Um, uh, but this is one of those occasions where it's the best move. Uh, and so it's kind of counterintuitive for players with the black pieces. And so here, even after f6, we castle. You can see here in the database, uh, many players are playing this move c6. Uh, and the idea of c6 is very natural. They want to play d5. They want to gain space in the game. They want to push this bishop away. Uh, however, it's a huge blunder. Uh, you might want to pause the video and work out the winning move. It is, of course, knight takes e5. 
And if you decide to take with f takes e5, we have queen h5 check. And here, obviously, if you play g6, we're going to have queen takes e5 check and pick up the rook. Uh, if the king decides to go for a walk, uh, you don't need to worry about picking up the queen uh, because queen e5 is checkmate. I'm sure you noticed that. So a completely winning position here after knight takes e5. If in this position black is smart and realizes all this, plays d5, uh, we can go ahead and play queen h5 anyway. And now after say something like g6, we can take the pawn on g6 with our knight. And here, okay, there is uh, many ways in which white can win the game. Here the rook is hanging, uh, so black is pretty much going to have to take. And before you actually take this rook, it's worthwhile giving this check. And this situation is just completely um, winning here for players with the white pieces. And so if we go into the stats and we actually study how often this stuff is happening, um, you can see here d6 is the top move, knight c6 is the third most popular move, uh, which are both mistakes as discussed above. If you actually filter out some of the lower rated players, and let's say we leave in 2000s and above, you can see here now d6 and knight c6 starts to drop down the list. Um, they will drop further down the list once we get rid of 2000s and leave say 2200s in. So as you would expect, uh, people at the higher ends of Lee Chess are not going to make the mistake. But curiously, they still do. They still do. So a percentage of them still make this mistake. And I think what's most fascinating is that when you actually go down the line, so after F6, the correct line, let's say castles, is even strong players are playing C6, which is just a complete blunder. So if we were to filter out, say, some of the weaker players here, leave 2000s and above, you can see here c6 is still the most popular move. That's a complete blunder. What happens if we get rid of 2000s? Okay, c6 has now dropped to the second most. Um, it's telling me here 25%, so about one in four players still play c6. And so it's a fantastic try uh, because black is pretty much forced to play a game where they have to play f6, and there's all kinds of tactics on the board. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you have any experience playing this opening, uh, do leave your thoughts below. Thank you very much for your time.